It only takes two to tango, but here in Buenos Aires today, there were three contestants, each dancing to the IOC's tune. This ceremony last night marked the beginning of one of the Olympic movement's most important meetings in recent times, with Istanbul, Madrid and Tokyo all vying for the right to host the greatest show on earth in 2020. London. Last year's games were won on a promise to regenerate East London. And now, here in the redeveloped Docklands of Buenos Aires, three more cities prepare to learn their fate. These bids have been years in the making. But it's what happens in the next final few hours here, where the vote takes place, that will prove crucial. The candidate cities are bringing out their big hitters, and they don't come much bigger than basketball star Pau Gasol, the face of a low-cost Madrid bid that's gained late momentum. Pau, BBC, are you confident? Uh, I'm optimistic. Yeah? You can do it. Yeah, I think we can, of course. Thank you. Frontrunner Tokyo was the safe option, but mounting concern over continued contamination from the stricken Fukushima nuclear power station could prove costly. I have confidence and I have yeah, tried to yeah, convey our voice. You yeah. believe you'll still yeah. win? Sure, sure, sure. I believe myself. Thank you. Good luck. A city where East meets West, Istanbul promised a compelling narrative. It would be the first time a Muslim country had played host. But recent political unrest in Turkey has harmed their chances in what's become a very close race. I don't want to talk about the others, but all three candidates have a similar chance. And I believe we have much potential. If we do win, it will be the first time the Games have been hosted in two continents. The candidates have been making eyes, but today the courtship must end and the IOC will choose its perfect partner. Dan Rowan, BBC News, Buenos Aires.